I'm right outside the submarine bay, but I can't get in. I need you for that. My family can't be more than a hundred yards away. We all be part of Ryan's great chain. <laughs> Turns out Ryan's chain is made of gold, and ours are the sort with the big iron ball around your ankle. He's up in Fort Frolic banging fashion models. <sighs> We're down in this dump yanking guts out of fish. Fontaine's promising something better. He's like uh, one of us, you know? Like he's worked a day in his life. He says meet him at his fish packing joint at 11. I'll go, bring a couple of guys. <laughs> It's not like things could get a lot worse.
that crowd scientist. She's damaged goods, all right. Just like all those chumps they scraped out of them prison camps. But she's no crackpot. She's gonna make me the kind of scratch that'll have Ryan look like he's running a paper route. She just needs some supplies to get the ball rolling and a friend to watch her back. Can you hear me, family in the sub? Are they making any noise at all?
You ooze in like an assassin, and then you try to sneak out like a thief. You're no CIA spook. Who are you? Why have you come here? There's two ways to deal with the mystery. Uncover it. walk out of here. That simple. How do I know that fat fuck isn't Fontaine's guy? How do I know they're not all Fontaine's guy? Fontaine's got Adam, and everybody wants it. Brian's got a whole lot of talk and a nice suit. Even down here, any idiot can see which way the wind is blowing. <laughs> <laughs> 